In this video, we are going to discuss example 12. Determines whether the following functions are 1 to 1. Before we start, please take notes that f is 1 to 1 if fx1 equal to fx2 implies that x1 equal to x2. Question A. Given the function g is 1 over x. So we are going to let gx1 is equal to gx2. On the left hand side, we are going to replace x1 into the function g. So we have 1 over x1. And on the right hand side, we are going to replace x2 into the function g. We have 1 over x2. Now, by cross multiplying, we get x1 equal to x2. So since gx1 equal to gx2 implies that x1 equal to x2, therefore the function g is 1 to 1. Next, question b. Given the function f is absolute x plus 1, now we are going to let fx1 is equal to fx2. On the left hand side, we are going to replace x1 into the function f. We have absolute x1 plus 1. And on the right hand side, we are going to replace x2 into the function f. We have absolute x2 plus 1. Now, by simplifying this, we get x1 plus 1 is equal to plus minus x2 plus 1. Now, we are going to split this into two parts. The first is x1 plus 1 equal to positive x2 plus 1. Another one is x1 plus 1 equal to negative x2 plus 1. So, we are going to simplify for both. So, the first one we have x1 plus 1 equal to x2 plus 1. So, x1 equal to x2. And the second one is x1 plus 1 equal to negative x2 minus 1. So, x1 is equal to negative x2 minus 2. So, here we clearly see that there are two possible values of x1. So, this means the function f is not one-to-one -one function. Well, that's it. Thank you.